Hi, and welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media, coming to you from the Gartner Customer 360 Summit in Los Angeles. I'm joined today by Justin Langseth, co-founder and chief technology officer at ClaraBridge. Today we'll be discussing trends around how customers can leverage text analytics on social media. Justin, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Tom. Great to be here. So, how can customers make better use and apply text analytics to social media to, to learn more about customers and their needs? Yeah, well, what we find with our customers is that many of them have just so much data in the social media sphere talking about them, oftentimes up millions, up to millions of postings talking about the, their company, their products, their competitors, their competitors' products, and just so much data that even if they can monitor and collect it all, they can't any possible way actually read it using people. So our software is able to take all that, collect it together, and then analyze it linguistically using natural language processing, sentiment, and topic analysis technologies to boil it all down so that business people can just analyze it using analysis tools instead of having to read it all. Interesting. So can you point to any examples of ClaraBridge customers that have done this really effectively? Uh, yeah, I'll mention two customers. We have a, a large hotel uh, chain. And what they do is they analyze not only the external social media data, but also the internal data, meaning uh, survey verbatim. So when they send out a survey after you stay at a hotel, people fill in and type in their comments on what they liked and disliked, very much like they would have maybe done on Facebook or on Twitter. But this is being provided directly to the company in a very clean and consistent form. And that internal data also uh, consists of data from call center notes, from chats and emails with customers. And it's all nice unstructured data. It's very clean, and it's been provided directly to that company. So this hotel analyzes millions and millions of that type of data from internal sources, plus also additional information brought in from social media. And they use this to help improve their properties, to understand what people like and dislike about their stay, about the facilities, even about the conferences they attend at these, uh, at these convention hotels. Hmm. And um, so that's a great example. Another example I'll give you is uh, a, a tax software company. And they analyze people's comments from, again, internal sources, such as chats with tech support agents, but also external sources from social media, like Facebook and Twitter, and uh, product review sites and uh, forums and things like that. And bringing it all together, they can then send the right information to the right audience within their organization, to the engineer to fix a particular bug, or to the marketing group to help decide on the best corporate uh, marketing strategy for the next, next season. Interesting. So for marketing leaders that are fairly new to the social media space, what are some starting points that you'd recommend for trying to apply text analytics? Yeah, I mean, I would recommend not necessarily just trying to bite off everything at once. Like, don't just bring in every single post on the internet that mentions, you know, your, your brand name. You, you can try to do that, but it's very challenging to get it so that the data is clean and that it's actually about you and topical. Because say you're a large, uh, say you're Target, something like that, a large store. The word target is used in a whole bunch of different contexts. Right. How do you pull out people who are shopping at target versus talking about financial targets of some sort? So focusing on that first, getting the data clean and really trying to get the data that's really about your company and your brands first before you try to pull it all in is I think something that they really need to focus on. Mm. And that's something where, where our natural language processing technology helps because it can look at how words are used in context, not just the fact that the word target appears, right. but exactly what the person is talking about in conjunction with that word. Interesting. That's great. Well, Justin, thanks so much for spending Thank some you. time with us yeah. today.